Hi, this is Ben CB for Holy Mercies Calculator, and today I will introduce you to using Holy Mercies Calculator. So if you have access to the free version, you have the option to import sims and to view ranges. And you do this by file, view hand, and then you can select a sim that you can also find on the website, and then you can import the ranges or you can import the sim and then you see the ranges. On the left side, you see the actions. And before you go through each of these different ranges, I recommend you click on window and you click on reset perspective because then you get this table here. So you see uh, visually also in which situation we're talking about. So on the left side, you have the grid for all the different actions with its different sizings being used, rays, three bedding, the positions and the ranges. On the right side, you see the profitability, the EV of each of the action. You can also change the viewing mode by clicking on these icons here. So if you hover over, you see its EVs compared to best other action. You can click on select ranges this is basically now showing you the ranges you want to play. So it's our open raising range here, two big blinds from under the gun at a six max table. If you click here, it shows you all the action. Well, this is actually important when you have multiple options available. So for example, if we look into defending the big blind, that means the button open raises. So first we have to click into the node of the button open raising. We select the big blind and we see it shows all actions. It shows green for calling, it shows the red color for three bedding, and it shows the purple fall in. You also see the abbreviations or slash the explanations for each of these colors here on the very top and white is folding. So this is really nice depending on what you would like to look into. I really like this grid as well. So it shows me the EV. So this is something that has helped me also a lot to constantly be looking into the different EVs of each action because sometimes there might be, it shows, yeah, ace four off or a king six off want to be played. But when you look at the EVs, it's actually really marginal, especially for king six off. And under certain circumstances, it might be a fold if you have very loose or very aggressive players on the table. Now, you always want to start chronologically. So from top to bottom, you have under the gun hijack cut off to the big blind. If you want to look into an action for the big blind, you first need to open the tree from the position that was open raising. So if you are in the big blind and you want to look into your range versus hijack, you need to click into hijack's range. So here on the left side, you have the R that stands for race, C for calling, uh, three bet for three betting. You have multiple options for three betting because we can three bet to small sizing. We can also three bet all in. And you see here the amounts of big blind. You also have here the positions that are in play. So we have under the gun raising and let's see, we want to see our cutoff range. If you click on here and you have the grid activated uh, as it's shown here, it only shows you here the profitable hands for calling. It does not necessarily mean that three betting is minus EV. Remember, we are now in the tree for calling. So you have to click into three betting. And then we see that actually some hands are at least break even that are minus EV to call as we see with ace five suited. So when you're in this grid, you want to go into those separate nodes. Okay. If you use the grid that I'm using, we see fall in it's tens plus ace queen suited plus and ace king off plus. So a pretty tight range. If we click on this grid on the very right, you have all the actions at once. You see the hands we want to be calling and you see the hands we want to be three betting. If it shows a certain frequency, such as ace nine suited wants to three bet 28% of the time, that's always an indicator that this is a very marginal play. Everything that is 100% usually shows a decent profit. If you click black, click back to the EVs, compared to folding, you see that these hands are decently profitable for shoving. And you see that, yeah, ace eight suited here, all these hands, as I just shown, ace nine, ace eight suited, 
uh, are basically break even, so we only sometimes three bet them. And on the bottom left side, you have the table view. So in case you get lost, just have a look here. It shows yellow cutoff. Ah, yeah, we're in the cutoff. Okay, I'm back on track. So this really helps you to also visually stay on track with whatever action you're trying to look into. And you can also acti activate a different different uh, grids on the top right, the way you want to have the frequency hands being marked, um, however you, you want to have it displayed. I like this grid quite a bit. So I mainly use this and this. So I can always um, compare the actions to folding. Um, this is very, very helpful. So this was the first video for Holding Resist Calculator, a first introduction as well. So we're gonna be doing more tutorials, of course. We're gonna be looking into what these numbers mean, EVs and all the other functionalities. So don't worry, stay tuned. There's, uh, there are more videos coming. And take the time, take it slow. It's very important to understand what you're doing. This is one of the best and most important tools uh, you can use in your career as a poker player. I can, I can speak from my own experience. I am using HSC up until today. I've used it, started using it uh, the moment it came out and it really will help your short stick game, your ICM game, especially in the more advanced stage of the tournament. It is extremely powerful to find those very loose all-in spots, these very loose regem spots, or also very tight situations. So stay tuned for more and then see you in the next video.